Presents our starting lineups. First for the Pacers, Allison is out there with Jones. And Phil in the paint, it's the big man, Roy Hibbert. They look to him to provide that necessary presence down low. Then there's Danny Granger, and it's Hansborough in at the fourth. And for Detroit, Stucky and Ripper in the backcourt. And the big man out of Georgetown, Craig Monroe. He's a big part of that presence down low. Then there's Tayshawn Prince, and it's Wilcox in at the four slot. Four steps out onto the floor, and he's got to be excited. His very first taste of playing time in an NBA game. Well, he's already shown he has a great work ethic, and, and that's key because he's trying to develop into an everyday player out there. And Steve, with that work ethic, there's no reason to think that won't happen. Earlier, Doris Burke spoke with head coach Lawrence Frank. Uh, what'd you find out, Doris? They are up against Danny Granger, who is a guy who can hurt them in a lot of different ways. He talked about what his team needs to do to slow down Granger. One key will be to make sure he has to work for every shot, saying if we let him just catch and shoot in the corner, we're toast. We have to make him work for every shot he gets. Thanks, Doris. A second chance effort. You know, you take the Bulls out of the equation, and Pistons actually had a good year in the Central Division games last season. Second free throw, no good. Pacers trail by six. Here is Ford. Three-pointer, no good. The Pistons on offense. Six point game. Hill against McGrady. Passes it to Villanueva. Ford with the steal. A fantastic steal. He knew exactly when to jump into that passing lane. Well done. Collison's shot is good. Well, that's the problem. You turn the ball over and your defense just isn't set up at the other end. And sometimes when it happens that way, it almost feels like a four point bucket. to Gordon Ford with the steal That's such a tough catch when the ball is coming from that far away <laughs> for the business seven and nine in their division but four of those losses came to Chicago Steve they were swept by the Bulls well not a very strong division obviously uh, the Bulls really a good team everybody else under 500 so Chicago ran away with that division but at least Detroit was competitive with their other division rivals. Looking at who's out there now for the Pistons. Greg Monroe. He's checked in for Wallace. Wilcox comes in for Jason Maxine. And Tayshawn Prince subbed in for Charlie Villanueva. Gordon kicks to Prince. It's tipped. So now that's twice we've seen the offense collapse. That's back to back. And he slams it home. Here's the replay on the Sprite Slam Camp. Come on now, I didn't see. Can you believe that finish? <laughs> or a little bit of flair and flavor at the end of it. Oh, that'll be a fan favorite, yeah. all right. That was not your average typical dunk. You know, I think it was really exciting for this Pacers team getting into the postseason last year for the first time in five years, guys. I mean, the youth helped as we saw the passion come out in that game four win against the Bulls. And I thought they competed very well in that series and have some promise going forward. <laughs> There's 53 seconds left here in the opening quarter. Feeds to Hibbert. Granger outside. The game now all time. Granger's got himself going with the triple, his first basket of the game. Mark, I agree with you. You know, brought the Pacers making it into the postseason. They were the eighth seed, but really did a, a good job mm -hmm. against a very talented Chicago team, Steve. Yeah, very tough opponents. Anytime you're going up in that first round against a team like the Bulls as an eighth seed, and you get to see what a team like that's made of. And I think that 
young Pacers squad really uh, accounted for itself in, in, a, in a good way in that playoff run. We'll see if they can take advantage and, and really have a good season this year. Here's Collison, and no good. Had a chance to take the lead. With one on the clock. Some great action here early as we end the first quarter. Clark in the top. Here is Collison. Ten points for him. The pass to four. Now Hamilton defending. Let's it go from the wing. And it's in off the backboard. Ford's got five now. Hill against Gordon. He's guarded by Hill. The jump hook. And Wallace finishes inside. Wallace has got his second basket of the night. Collison against Wallace. Hill left side. Three-pointer. The shot's good. Collison making the play. He is extremely comfortable behind that three-point line. I mean, especially when you give him that kind of room to operate. Here's Stuckey. He's got nine. I think Darren Collison is penciled in as the Pacers point guard of the future and with blazing speed and a really insatiable appetite for the game the future is bright for him. Stuckey with it. Five to shoot. He's picked up by Hill. Fires at the elbow. And the rebound goes to the Pacers. Well, Darren Collison's shooting percentages fell back to earth a bit last season following his scintillating rookie season. But, Steve, he's still plenty dangerous offensively. Well, he's so quick, and uh, you know, he can get around his defender at will, and he's added that jump shot. He's gotten much better with that shot. So, uh, Darren Collison, a guy who can beat you in a lot of different ways. He feeds it to Stuckey. He's picked up by Hill from 17 feet out. And the shot is good from Stuckey. Stuckey's got 11 points. Boy, he's been good offensively tonight. I really like what I've seen. Hamilton against four. Hill against Stuckey. Now Ford. He's got five. And again, it's Indiana converting. That's a nice job of getting the ball in the paint and burying the shot. That's exactly how it's done. Well, you look at this Pacers roster. A nice young blend of talent, size, versatility. They had the flexibility this past summer to add some other nice players. So this team seems to be on the rise. One thirty-two left to play in the third. Collison dishes to four. And here's George. Looking for his first bucket of the game. Ford kicks to Hill. Ford is screen on Gordon. Right at the free throw line. No good. So Detroit will take it the other way. And you know, as Steve was just saying about the youth and options for this Indiana team, we were already able to see some of that impact in last year's playoffs. And that was so important, Kevin, for the team to get to the playoffs, to be able to show the fans that passion and hard work and competitive spirit and promise of the young players. Um, and I think for the fans, it was a case of everybody starting to see that there's um, new hope in store for the Indiana Pacers going forward. And so he earns a trip to the line. Officials saw the contact, and he'll shoot two. You know, Detroit's play against the rest of the East was about as good as you could expect when you look at their overall record. Clark going back to the Pistons, 22 and 30 against the East last year. Well, they've been the cream of the crop in the Eastern Conference for so long. And it's probably tough for Pistons fans to have to go through this lull. Uh, they're, they're in a rebuilding stretch, no question about it. They are in a stage now where they've got to find some young talent and try to reload here. Jones against Hamilton. Baseline try. Wilcox can't hit. Pacers trail by seven. Good idea. Hold on to the ball. Take the last shot of the court. Yep. Hibbert the pass to four. Started by Stuckey. 
Pulls from the top of the key. That one off the back iron. And a great show through three quarters as we enter the fourth. Who will carry the day? Without question, Rodney Stuckey displaying his skills today. Yeah, so far in this one, he's played a, a different role than normal, but uh, he's done a Number nice job. Two, the Detroit Pistons. They've done an exceptional job executing. And so it's the Pistons taking care of business here. They put on a show tonight thoroughly controlling each end of the floor. Hey, what more can you add? So that'll do it for now. For Clark Kellogg, Steve Kerr, and Doris Burke, this is Kevin Harlan. Thanks for joining us for this presentation of the NBA on 2K Sports. We'll see you next time. After tonight's game, you're now officially an NBA player. Were there any nerves for you stepping onto the court for the first time? Oh yeah, I, I think it's fair to say I was a little nervous, uh, but I felt pretty good out there, you know? I've been talking to the guys and they've been really helpful getting me ready for this. It's definitely an important step for my career, but just the first of what I hope will be many more. Um, I got a long way to go, but it's nice to have a game like this under my belt right now.